Well, welcome back. In this session, I want to teach you about some tools that are used for operations between two layers, so typically called overlay operations. So here we have two layers representing two polygons, and what we might want to do is cut out this purple polygon that's inside our first polygon. So to do that, we can use a tool called the Clip Geoprocessing Tool. So the polygon that's going to be cut is polygon number two, and we're going to cut it using our polygon number one. And then we'll output to a geo database, and then just OK. So the resulting polygon is the original polygon number two that was inside polygon number one. So this area here. And if we look at the attribute table, we simply have area and the length of that polygon and all the original attributes from polygon number two. Now, if you want to also transfer the information from polygon number one, we could use a tool called the intersect tool. So this tool is just like clip tool. The only difference will be the intersection between polygon and polygon number one and polygon number two will be the same polygon, but you'll get all the information from polygon number one and all the information from polygon number two transferred to our output. So for example, there was a text field in polygon number one that's transferred, and there was a text field in polygon number two, and that was transferred. So all the information from this polygon is transferred, and all the information from this polygon is transferred and the resulting polygon is that intersecting polygon. Now you might want to keep this polygon and keep this polygon, but wherever there's an intersection, uh, give us a polygon that has all the information from this polygon and all the information from that polygon. And that's a tool called the union tool. Okay, so we're going to use the union tool and overlay these two polygon layers. Okay, so the output from the union tool actually gives us three polygons. So this first polygon is we get the information from our polygon number one, but we have no information from the polygon number two. So that's basically this polygon right here. And the third polygon is this polygon. So we have all the information from our first polygon plus all the information from our second polygon. And then the other polygon would be this polygon right here, which is our original polygon number two, and we have no information from our polygon number one. So basically the output from the union is all the polygons and then the intersection of any polygons. Okay, so the union tool always has input polygons. The intersect tool, you can actually have inputs as points, lines, or polygons. And then also with the intersection tool, you can output points, lines, or polygons. So let's say we want to output using the intersect tool, wherever these two polygons intersect, give us the points and then give us all the attributes from this polygon and that polygon where they overlap, transfer those attributes values to these output points. So we'll use the intersect tool to do that. Okay, so it's just like before, we're gonna intersect polygon one and polygon two, but if we scroll down the output type now, instead of being input, which are polygons, we'll specify the output type to be points and then just okay. Okay, so the output is a multi-point shape and it contains all the information from our original polygon number one and all the information from our original polygon number two. And if we want to, we could separate these multipoints into single points using a tool multi-part to single part. So let's execute that tool. So we run the tool multi-part to single part and then just okay. And then we have this point and all the information from the input polygons, polygon one and polygon two, and then our second point and all the information from polygon number one and polygon number two. Okay, and the last overlay tool is the opposite of clip. So with clip, basically what we did was we used one polygon and cut out anything that's inside this one polygon. It could be points, lines, or polygons. 
We could also use a tool called Erase, which does the opposite of clip. What it will do is erase anything that's inside polygon number one. So let's try the Erase tool. Okay, so in this example, polygon number one is going to act as a giant eraser, and anything that's inside polygon number one will be erased, and then just OK. So the output is a polygon that basically is anything that was inside polygon number one becomes erased, so then this is basically the output from that erase tool. Okay, so those are the common overlay geoprocessing tools, and we're going to use those this week in lab.